Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my playlist where I'm covering Node.js with Mongoose. And in this video, we are going to talk about the relationships like one to one, one to many, many to many relationship and how we can manage all these relationships in Mongoose with MongoDB, right? So Okay, so first of all, we'll start with one to one relationship. Okay, we have two documents how we ca how we can define one to one relationship in those two collections. Okay, so for an example, I have downloaded this application Moon Modeler, which is which can help you to model your database entities. Either it can be a RDBMS or a NoSQL. You can create a new project and it will give you all the setup. So first we are talking about one to one relationship in the MongoDB. So one to one means a simple example is okay one customer has a one credit card or one user has a one single address. So it's like a one entity will point to another entity but the count will be one to one mapping. User can have only one address, so either you can have a user collection and address collection and define the relationship one to one between the users and the address. Or let's say we I have the customer name, email, address, phone number, and all, and the identifier. The customer identifier is the customer ID, the the credit card number of the customer, some customer identifier, and every customer is going to have only single identifier. It's like uh, it's like simple a student database where we have a student and then we have a student identifier which contains the student ID, uh, student enrollment number, student exam code or something like that. So it's like a one to one kind of relationship. So here we have a user and here we can add some more properties, email address, which is of type string, you can keep adding these things. password id or some identifier so this is the user collection and the user collection and we have another collection is the payments okay so inside payments let's say we have another identifier so let's call it as a customer instead of user that is more appropriate okay and we don't need the password at all So this is the customer buying something from a online platform and here he is making some payments. So here I can have some identifier customer ID because this customer might be already registered with us. Customer ID, customer card code and uh, customer reference or something like that. Just an example. Now, if I wanted to define the relationship, then what I can do is I can just select this reference, select parent, select child, and this will associate, this will introduce customer object ID inside a payments collection. So, how we are defining the relationship? It's not a primary key, foreign key kind of relationship, it's a schema less, but through the with the help of Mongoose, we are trying to define just some structure and some references. So, what I did is I put the customer reference in the payments. So there is a customer object ID because these underscore IDs are nothing but the object ID of the collection. So this is underscore ID is the customer object ID. Underscore ID here is the payments object ID. And I am adding this customer as a relationship. So I will also have a customer ID inside a payments collection. Okay. This is the one way. This is totally decoupled i have a customer collection i have a payments collection there is another way is the embedded reference because we already know one customer will have one payment one user will have one address so what we can do is we can put this uh, let's say i will remove this relationship and i can have one column inside this only let's say payments and the type can be a json here array boolean whatever you want or you can put a mixed type okay i will put array
so what does that mean now this payment is like an embedded reference now what we are saying is inside customer we have a payments as an array now you can add n number of payments obviously not n number of payment single payment with uh, multiple properties and all this is embedded reference you don't need a separate collection to store that what you have is just a sim simple object i mean most of the time it is not an array it's just a an object let's say i will just put mixed so it can be object it can be anything so this payment is like embedded reference so this is called mungu's one to one relationship and we will also try to visualize this in terms of code also so what we are going to do here is we will write some code relationship one to one i will open this in the terminal and we will do npm init install mongoose and all those basic things and then i will install or for the typo and mongoose okay and then we will define the models so here let's say i have index dot js i will write something to connect to the mongodb or what i can do is i can start writing the the models so const mongoose const mongoose equal to require okay and then we can define the models let's say i have a customer so what it will be mongoose dot model i mean you can create a separate schema and then pass the schema in the model or you can say is a mongoose dot model here you put the model name which is customer and here this is an object right what you specify here the second argument is a schema so what you can do is const customer schema and here we can say is new mongoose dot schema and here you can specify the schema and then you can specify this customer schema as a second argument to the model so this is how you are creating model and in the schema what i want i i just want to have a name which is of string is of type number these are different pos allowed numbers we have gender is of type string and then just pass this thing to this now we have a customer model and whatever you want like you want to do module dot exports i have a customer model ready okay now what is the another uh, model we have okay another model is the identifier let's see the payments let's see the address because user will have a single address a customer will have a single uh, identifier as a customer id which we are storing inside uh, the reference table so let's call it as identifier table const Most identifier schema where we are storing okay this is the the customer id reference id and all mongoose dot model and here we'll pass the model name which is identifier and then second argument is the schema so here i can create a schema same as like this mongoose dot schema here i can have customer code which is of type string and the another is the customer because it is one to one relationship and identifier schema will have a reference of the customer this is of type object and here we will specify the type type will be object id mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id okay this is the type and reference to to which collection you are creating a reference i am creating a reference with the customer okay so this is the 
the primary you can call it as a primary key table and this is the reference foreign key table in the language of sql okay this is the identifier schema and you pass your identifier schema here and now both the collections are ready and you can start playing with them okay so now we have both the models what we will do is module.export and we will export both the models from here so we can use it in another file so first is the customer model and another is the identifier model so let's rename this file and convert it into models.js and then we will create index.js we will where we will do mongodb connection and we'll play with both these collections index.js and here what we are going to do is we first we will require mongoose and then mongoose.connect this is how we connect to the database and your connection uri which is localhost port port is 27017 database is test if everything is good we will get the promise result we are connected otherwise there will be a catch okay let's say we are connected successfully then we can write simple functions okay this is going to create a customer another function is create identifier function create and we are just going to play with these collections create customer let's say what do we have inside customer is name age and gender okay so we need three things name age and gender coming from the argument okay and when we want to save it first we will import both the models and we will require this from models here we are requiring a customer and identifier okay and we can simply say is const customer create the instance of the model equal to new customer c is in the upper case and here we will pass all the three properties we got the name we got the age we got the gender and what we can do is return customer dot save this should return a promise right so we can call this method if everything is connected let's say the database is connected and now we can start playing with this thing so here i will just say is console.log connected and here i will say console.log error and i will call this method first we will call create customer and i can just pass the random data okay this is going to return a promise so i have to do dot then if we are able to create a customer successfully it will return a customer document right after that we can create the identifier console.log customer created and then we can call another method which is create identifier now you can see the another model is identifier in identifier we are passing customer code and the customer object itself right so what we need to do is create identifier here we have to return a promise from here so it can be a code and the customer object it is taking and what we can do is create customer so so we already have a create customer then now we have a create identifier so create identifier is taking two inputs the customer code and the customer object so we can say is const 
identifier equal to new identifier we'll, we are creating the instance of the model right and here we can pass customer code the code we are getting and the customer object itself and we can just return identifier.save it is going to return a promise that's it so now once you are able to create a customer once we are able to create a customer we can create identifier return so here we can create uh, the identifier return create identifier is a method i guess create identifier and it is taking two argument one is the customer id so we are getting this customer document i mean customer code is nothing but a 10 digit or 6 digit code so we can get it from underscore id to string we will convert the object id into a string and we will can do substring 0 to 10 this is the customer id we have and we can pass the customer object okay if this is successful that means we are able to create a customer and we are able to create identifier based on the customer id we have received because here we are passing customer object and just a customer code some 10 digit random hash if if we are able to create identifier then we can simply say is console.log identifier created and you can also print the document what is the shape of the document and all and then you can call another method is show identifier this can be another method where you wanted to populate all the data show identifier i will create this function here here we are not integrating it with the apis we are just playing around and dot find so here we can call a simple method return this can be a sync method async functions to identifier await and what we are doing is identifier dot find this is going to return us the data async function okay so we will receive the data from this and we can just print now we can actually run this example and see how it is happening so this is a one to one example you can also manage this through the embedded reference or if you wanted to have it two different collections where you wanted to store something and provide the object id into another collection like a user and address uh, customer and uh, the payments like here is the customer and the identifier there is a customer collection and identifier collection so now we can talk about simple demo like creating customer creating identifier and all right so here we are doing mongoose connection first we are creating customer once the customer is created we are passing the customer object in the create identifier function so and then we are showing all the identifier once we are able to create customer and identifier so node index.js mongodb container is running and here you can see customer created identifier created and the data which is here i'm printing all the identifiers with the customer object so these are the customer records and you can also populate these things like currently what i'm doing i'm trying to fetch the identifiers uh, there is a method I have written here you can also populate populate and here we can see the data uh, sorry for the typo it is not capital C it is small c and with the customer you can see every identifier now have the embedded reference I mean the customer as a nested object okay so this is decoupled two different collections approach where you are you are passing the object id from one collection to another collection there is another way also that what you can do is you can create embedded reference i mean that is just a simple way you don't need to create these reference 
it can be customer can be of type customer schema here and it will work as it is now here to, while inserting you don't need to insert the object id here you can just pass the whole customer object while creating the identifier this is called the embedded schema like uh, here, here what you did is there are two collections and while inserting the data you are actually passing the whole object customer object while creating the identifier so this is like the same approach which we were using earlier the only difference is here we are not providing the reference we are passing the whole object so now the second approach i was talking is embedded reference okay in that case this is the customer schema and this is the identifier schema we don't need to create actually the customer model what we can do is we can even pass this whole schema here this customer schema so earlier what we were doing if, if i do the changes this was the change i was doing earlier right we were passing the customer object id in the customer but now we will just pass the customer schema which is nothing but okay customer is of type json which will store another embedded document this is now the picture is so here while playing with this we don't need to populate because there is no reference we can just do identifier dot find and after creating the customer we get the customer object and we are passing the whole customer object to the create identifier and this will work as it is so if i just try to do load index.js let's see what will happen so here you can see now these all are embedded objects so if you see the first few records one two three four five those were two different collections where uh, identifier was having the customer as a object id and the sixth record the last record is the embedded reference record we can also check that in the this collection and you can see this is customer and this is the identifier let me delete all so you can understand and now i will create because now it, sh it should create only embedded one okay and if i reload and you can see customer is now a nested object right so this is the embedded document you created a customer separately and now you are putting the whole customer schema inside identifier it's not like it is holding an object id okay the earlier example if we try to undo the try to do the changes let customer and here we do some changes now it should store the object id we will run this example now you can see this should store the object id we go to identifier and you can see customer this is storing the object id of the customer right but here this is a json document so this first one is the embedded reference and second one is the two different collections showing some kind of a reference reference of the customer is being passed into the identifier collection okay so this is all about one to one there is nothing much nothing rocket science it is very simple you can play around with examples and the same set of code we are going to write in the node js apis